Yep, yep, yep. Here it is. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome back. Attorney Steve Hondren here. Welcome back. We have an important bulletin here from the city and county of San Francisco. Welcome back. This is COVID report. Okay, so now we are having, now this is what I'm going to call the legal side of coronavirus. I bring you some of the legal side, some of the things that maybe you don't see on TV, but this is new. San Francisco is on lockdown. Several counties are now on official lockdown as of 12 o'clock, 12, 15 a.m. I believe it was in the morning. But here it is, order of the health officer, okay? Now, I'm going through this the first time with you, so I'm not quite sure what's in it, but I'm going to unpack this together here. Let's see what's going on. But is my understanding, I have a brother-in-law up in Marin County. Right now, he is on lockdown. We have an office in Marin County. We are not going into our office. Why? We couldn't. We couldn't be there and, and going into our office right now. So... Um, I'm going to go over this order of the health officer of the city and county of San Francisco directing all individuals living in the county to, here it is, shelter at their place of residence, shelter at their place of residence, except that they may leave to provide or receive certain essential services or engage in certain essential activities and work for essential business and government services, okay? So these are going to be some of the uh, key uh, phrases that are going to be examined, looked at, and interpreted by people and courts and everybody else. I mean, this is really this is really getting crazy, as best I can tell you. And from what I understand, we're going to find out, but from what I understand, it could be deemed a misdemeanor if you're walking down the street and you're, you're not supposed to be there. So this is really... Really heavy, really serious stuff here. It's a little bit scary. Some people are going, oh my God, this is good. This is nuts. But in, we hope other cities aren't going to be following, or maybe we do. We don't know. This is such a, a new virus that we don't know actually what to do. So city, of San, city and county of San Francisco are taking certain measures, um, exempting individuals experiencing homelessness from the shelter-in-place order, but urging them to find shelter and government agencies to provide it. So apparently they are exempt, the homeless are exempt. They can continue to occupy, that is their place of shelter, uh, and government and looking for government agencies, and directing all businesses and governmental agencies to cease non-essential operations at physical locations in the county, prohibiting all non-essential gatherings of any numbers of individuals. You know, remember, don't remember, under the Constitution of the United States, you have a right of association, but this looks like this is um, putting a little hamper on that. Now, you know, privileges are usually not absolute. This would probably be deemed a serious, um, f you know, a serious public danger where things like this can be ordered, okay? But I'm sure some people will probably try to challenge us. We'll see. Um, but all businesses and government agencies to cease non-essential operations at physical locations in the county. So this applies to San Fran, prohibiting all gatherings of any numbers of individuals and ordering cessation of all non-essential travel, all non-essential travel. So there it is, folks. Um, here it is, shelter in place. Please read this order carefully. Violation of or failure to comply with this order is a misdemeanor, folks. Um, punishable by fine, imprisonment, or both. So this is a very hefty order with teeth. You don't want to get caught saying, what, what? I do understand that there's going to be some rollout period. You know, everybody may not realize that this is happening. So I think there will be a, probably a grace period. Who knows? Maybe a couple days, maybe a week. I don't know. You can see here the order begins at 12.01 a.m. on March 17, 2020. It's in effect, folks, and will continue for three weeks through April 7, 2020, subject to the limited exceptions under the terms and conditions more particularly set forth below. So it's on. Um, this is a, I guess you would call it a, uh, a quarantine of sorts. They want people to stay in their houses so they don't go out and spread. Um, I don't know if you know much about this disease. I am not a doctor. This is not medical advice. Okay. This is not legal advice. This is just general information. But from what I understand, you could be deemed a carrier. Even if you test negative for the coronavirus, you could still be a carrier. So this is what's so dangerous about this, this strain of this virus 
is, I, as I understand it, it is multiple viruses wrapped up in one, and you could be a carrier and not know it. That's the scary part, okay? Um, so here, here you have a little summary. I'm going to let you pause that and read it if you want. I don't want to make a super long video. You can read it if you want. It's the order of the health officer. I'm going to slow down on these pages. If you want to stop and read them, you should. If you're living in California, you should. If you're in other states, big cities, there's um, up in Washington, I know, and New York, um, maybe Massachusetts, I, so similar orders may be coming, I don't know. But keep an eye out, check with your local officials, see what's going on, okay? So I'm just going to let you look at some of that if you want to read it. I want to try to keep this short. But as you can see, the intent of this order is to ensure that the maximum number of people self-isolate in their places of residence to max to the maximum extent feasible while enabling essential services to continue to try to slow the spread of the COVID-19, it's also known as COVID-19, the coronavirus, to the maximum extent possible. When people need to leave their places of residence, whether to obtain or perform vital services or to otherwise facilitate authorized activities um, necessary for continuity of social and commercial life, they should at all times reasonably possible comply with social distancing requirements as defined in section 10 below. Okay, so I'm going to go through, I'm going to go through these pages and let you pause if you want to read them. Just pause the video and read them. Here's an interesting section. All public and private gatherings of any number of people occurring outside a single household or living unit are prohibited except for the limited purposes as expressly permitted in section 10. Um, so read this through, see if your business applies, see if it applies to you, all travel, that's, what's this say, all travel, including, but not limited to travel on foot, bicycle, scooter, motorcycle, automobile, or public transit, except essential travel and essential activities as defined below is prohibited. People must use public transit only for purposes of performing essential activities to or to travel to and from work to operate essential businesses. So this is the word. Um, the magic word here is essential. What is going to be deemed essential? Okay. And you can see here's one reason why. They say there's 37 cases of COVID in the county, as well as at least 250 confirmed cases and at least three deaths in neighboring Bay Area counties as of 10 a.m. on Sunday, March 16, 2020, including a significant and increasing number of suspected cases of community transmission and likely further significant increases in transmission. Widespread testing for COVID-19 is not yet available, but is expected to increase in the coming days. This order is necessary to slow the rate of spread and the health officer will reevaluate if further data becomes available, okay? So there it is. The order is issued in accordance with and incorporates by reference the March 12th, 2020 executive order issued by Governor Gavin Newsom. Executive order expressly orders that all residents are to heed any orders and guidance of state and local public health officials, including but not limited to the imposition of social, excuse me, social distancing measures to control the spread of COVID-19. This order is based on statements by Governor Newsom during a press conference on March 15, 2020, indicating the guidance of the state of California that all nightclubs, bars, wineries, and brew pubs close. And that person 65 years or older and older isolate at home. Okay, so this is serious stuff. As you can see, California, usually on the forefront of legislation. Um, um, California is often known as the laboratory of the country where things start in California and people, other states, other governors kind of watch it and see if it works out and, you know, if they want to tweak it or use it you know, verbatim. So this is going to be interesting. Here are your definition sections. This is what people are going to want to be looking at. For purposes of this order, individuals may leave their residence only to perform any of the following essential activities. So this is it. But people at high risk of severe illness from COVID-19 and people who are sick are urged to stay in their residence to the extent possible as necessary to seek medical care. So here are five things that look to be, to me, just the, again, this is my first look at this, essential activities. One, to engage in activities or perform tasks essential to their health and safety 
or to the health and safety of their family or household members, including but not limited to pets. Um, so your pets are included in this, such as by way of example, only and without limitation, obtaining medical supplies, medication. Um, I would suggest it looks like, you know, and again, this is not legal advice. You're going to have to make your own call on this stuff as it's a misdemeanor. I am not a criminal defense attorney visiting a healthcare professional or obtaining supplies they need to work from home. That's an interesting one. Obtaining supplies they need to work from home. So I'm just going to ask questions. I'm not giving any advice, but does that mean can you can go to Staples? Does that mean you can go to the um, CVS to get um, medications? Um, questions. These are questions that we have, okay? I have anyway. Two, to you can you an essential activity is to obtain necessary services or supplies for themselves and their family or household members, or to deliver those services or supplies to others, such as by way of example only and without limitation, canned foods, dry goods, fresh fruits, vegetables, pet supply, fresh meats, fish, poultry, and any other household consumer products and products necessary to maintain the safety, sanitation, and essential operation of residences, okay? Um, also to engage in outdoor activity, provided the individuals comply with the social distancing requirements as defined in this section, such as by way of an example and without limitation, walking, hiking, or running. So this is big up in the Bay Area. People love to ride their bikes, love to go hiking. So it looks like... Um, if you're if you're complying with social distancing, that may be acceptable. Again, check with the lawyer if you're not sure. This is general information only. Four, to perform work providing essential products and services to essential businesses or to otherwise carry out activities specifically permitted in this order, including minimum basic operations, or to care for a family member or a pet in another household. Okay, so here it is. Again, I'm going to put down here, you can read this stuff for yourself, healthcare operations. Um, if it applies to you, uh, read it over. Healthcare, lots of definitions do not include fitness and exercise gyms. So you're going to want to read this very carefully before you take any action. If you're not sure, engage the services of a lawyer to review what your proposed activity is and give you an opinion so that you at least have some good faith in what you're doing. Okay, so I'm going to let you read this, C, D, E, um, here it is, here's what's essential businesses, healthcare operations, grocery stores are essential businesses, food cultivation, farming, livestock, and fishing is essential, includes stores that sell groceries, um, and other non-grocery products, products necessary to maintaining the safety, sanitation, and essential operations, Coming down a little bit further here, we see a whole nother list, a whole nother list of essential activities here, businesses that provide food, shelter, and social, newspaper, television, radio, they can continue, they've got to continue, gas stations, auto supply, auto repair, banks and financial institutions, hardware stores, plumbers, electricians, exterminators, these kinds of things, businesses providing mailing and shipping, including post office boxes, so read these closely, educational institutions, okay, for purposes of facilitating distant learning, okay, this is becoming big, distant learning, learning from your desktop, not going into face-to-face -face functions anymore, laundromats, dry cleaners, restaurants, and other facilities that prepare and serve food, but only for delivery or carryouts. Now everybody's talking about Grubhub. Um, DoorDash, these things, um, Drizzly is another one that serves um, alcoholic beverages to your door, different things like this. This is becoming bigger. Again, this appears to be the direction our society may be moving. Schools and other entities that typically provide free food. I'm going to let you read all this. I'm going to let you read all that. Okay, pause it if you want to take a good in-depth deep dive, as we call it. The list goes on. You can see these are essential child care down here. Um, child care must be carried out in stable groups of 12 or fewer. So if you're in child care, there's a lot of rules here. You got to get into it. You probably need to get a lawyer, make sure you know what you're doing. Okay. These are big deals. Okay. Airlines, taxis, other private transportation. Um, if I was an Uber driver, I'd probably be going crazy right now. If somebody coughs in the back of your car, you're probably going crazy right now. So I don't know. This is this is some weird stuff, okay? Uh, let's see, purpose of this order, I'm gonna let you read all that. We're on page eight, there's two more pages. 
Um, essential travel, this is very important. Certain essential travel looks like it would be permitted. Um, I'm going to let you read this again. You decide if the, what you, where you want to go and what you want to do. You need to decide if it fits within this order. Um, and we're getting down to the end here. I'm going to let you read all the rest of that. Just pause it. Okay, so there it is, folks. That's a general look. Again, not legal advice. Check with a local attorney in your county. This, every county is not subjected to this, but I suspect we're going to see you roll out uh, into more counties in California and possibly other states as well. And until this can be figured out and kept under control, keeping the spread, the social distancing is important. Let me do a quick look. Command F, distancing. Let me see what that says. Um, section 10, here it is. To the extent individuals are using shared or outdoor spaces, they must at all times as reasonably possible maintain social distancing of at least six feet from any other person when they are outside their residence. So how, I don't know how this gets enforced. Um, maybe somebody's out there with a, a tape measure. I'm not sure. Maybe it's common sense, but I mean, if it's a misdemeanor, it, you know, this, you know, obviously these things would have to be proven beyond a reasonable doubt. And I don't know how you do this. This is a weird one to me. Um, but you need to try to, uh, not try, you need to maintain distancing of at least six feet. So you're going to have to figure out how to do that. Um, usually that's like a body length, maybe a little bit more with the average person, but a six foot distance, social distancing. So that is going to be a very interesting one to see how they enforce it. Um, wow. This is crazy. I mean, I see, like, usually in downtown San Francisco, you see a lot of skateboarders um, hanging out and, you know, doing their skateboarding. So I don't know how that how that's going to work. But anyway, folks, I don't mean to alarm you, but you got to know the rules of the game. You got to know what's going on. Keep your eyes on the rules here. If you're not sure, engage a lawyer. We are licensed in California and Arizona. And again, this is, I don't see this as a reason to panic. We do need to be concerned to get this under control. We do need to make sure that we're taking proper precautions, staying clean, hand sanitizers, you know, all this good stuff that you should be doing, to good sanitary precautions, okay? But there it is. There's the order. I wanted to make sure I got that to you. Um, and just read this over if you have time. Pause the video. Make sure you know what's going on and, you know, tell your friends what's going on. You don't want to end up... In, in a crisis, and then next thing you know, somebody's trying to arrest you or pull you over or whatever's going to happen, okay? So be very careful, folks. Um, okay, we'll get through this. We've been, we've been through things, maybe not similar to this, but we've been through a lot of different viruses as a country. It works when we pull together, okay? It's, this is not time for politics. It's time to pull together here, okay? AttorneySteve.com, you know where to find me. Licensed in California and Arizona, civil litigation. And again, if you need help with interpretations, um, we can help with California and Arizona issues, okay? Have a great day now. I got to run, lots to do. Take care, be good to each other. Bye now.